Okay, we're going to look at signing up for a Zoom account, and there is a two-way process. First, you're going to go to download the application uh, at Zoom, and once you've downloaded your application on your computer, of course, you accept the cookies, and then you will be uh, signing up for a free account. You're going to click sign up for a free account. Then you'll verify your age by writing the year of your birth. As long as you're over 18, they won't say anything. Then you're going to add your email address. And then you're going to hit continue. Now they're going to verify that. And what you're going to do is you're going to go back into your email and you will be verifying the uh, code that they're going to send you. So I've got to go into all of this and then I'm going to go back into my mail. And as soon as you open your email, I haven't used this one in a long time. So it's probably, it's asking me to allow and skip or uh, verify that I want to continue. Okay, and now you're going to grab your verification code. You just grab it all, control C, then open up your Zoom application, control V and verify. Now that you've verified it, it's going to ask you to put your name and it's going to, pra for me, I have password protect and your last name. And then you're, go you're going to make your uh, password. I'm going to redo the password because I don't know which password it was that I signed up and I usually will just change that. And then you're going, once you finish that, you're going to be able to hit continue. Now this comes the part where you're going to have to sign in on your application. Now this is the one here where you can control your settings. So let's check your settings. And then when you go into your settings, you're going to go over to advanced settings. And when you find the advanced settings, you're going to go scroll down through your meeting area to because we're going to be looking to make sure that the virtual backgrounds are set up. And usually by default, they're already ready for you to go. So you don't have to worry about it. They are set up for for virtual background by default is it's on and it says allow to use virtual background. Now that you've verified that you're going to be going into your computer. If you have a Windows, uh, you're going to be looking in your search bar and you're going to be looking for the Zoom app. You have to be signed into both of them for you to be able to use this as a background. So as you see here, I'm only signed in to the browser. You have to sign in to the other one as well. And as usual, I always have a tendency to forget what my emails are. So I always have to check them because I probably have about 13 different emails. It's not a joke. I kept running out of room and I kept opening them. So now I just pay Windows and Gmail for extra space. So once you do that, you're going to be signing in. You're going to sign in with that and then you're going to sign in with your password. Just takes a minute for me and then hit sign in. And you are ready for your Zoom experience and you can see there's a green button now and it talks about everything that's happening, your activity, any upcoming meetings, you can add contacts, whiteboards, so on. Uh, with the free one, they may not have that whiteboard, but they'll have another one. So you just give it its basic information for the first time and you hit all set. Now you minimize that and you're going to go over to your my meetings and you're going to host a meeting with video on. And it's going to open the zoom meeting. Now, as it opens the zoom meeting, you're going to be seeing ourselves here and ignore that I'm talking because I actually did this whole thing without sound. It was very funny. So you see the ready preset backgrounds and now we're going to hit add video and you're going to select which video you wanted to add for a video background like a Zai and I had already made one, so he has that one. And if you want to add another one, again, add plus add and then add video. He can have the second background. I have like I have several backgrounds and then you have those and they are ready to go. 
So I hope this explains how to get your virtual background and there are already met virtual backgrounds and if you don't see the virtual background or the virtual filter at the very beginning, what that means is that you are not signed in to the app in on your computer. So if you're not signed into the app and the other one, it will not work. I hope this explains everything and I will see him in class. If you have any problems, just ask me. Bye.